Buccaneers and Buccaneers. Ahoy, Buccaneers and Buccaneers! My name is Captain Augustone, and welcome back once again to another video. Today we're going to talk about the new damage character that's been unveiled, Echo. Yay, damage! Okay, but in all seriousness, Echo is a really insane hero. So, before anything else, don't forget to like the video if you enjoy the content, talk about it down below in the comments, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, we do Overwatch videos on Tuesdays, Hearthstone videos on Thursdays, and you get videos every single Friday. So let's talk about Echo, because wow, wow, we finally get to see Echo. And Echo's crazy. Echo's actually really, really crazy. I mean, just, just, just from uh, having the, you know, played it on the PTR with her kid and everything. Like, Echo is just one of the craziest heroes that's come out in a while. And that's that's considering we've had some pretty crazy heroes coming out in the life. So, but with Echo, she's got, like, uh, the power of flight. She has this ability to move really, really fast across the field. She's got the sticky bumps thing that we saw in the Overwatch 2 trailer, so that's really crazy. Those things are just... Those, those, those bombs need to, like, be toned down a little bit, because those bombs are really super powerful. Uh, she's got her little primary thing that does, like, the triple burst attack, you know, the little three ball, boom, boom, boom. And then she's got, like, this boosh laser beam that's just, like, beesh. And then it's just, like, and it just gets going super crazy. So, it's so, like, it's just, Echo's kind of insane, to be honest. I, I've played with her around a little bit, and it's just, like, I, it's like every damage character. It's like, it's like what you want every damage character to be. Is like this super crazy, super powerful, super strong damage character that I like. You, I, I like. I play her, and it's like you can see where the skill ceiling goes with this character. You can see how she would just be immediately impactful in the game, which is more than I could say for other damage characters. Sombra. That have been introduced into the game since, you know, release. So, let's kind of review just what all makes Echo tick and the like. So, obviously, like I mentioned before, her primary is just a little triple burst thing. But she gets a lot of ultimate percentage off of those bursts. Like, if she's able to land all three very consistently, and you will when you're pretty much, like... The, the range on it doesn't, like, the spread doesn't go super far unless you're, like, fairly far away. Like, you gotta be at least 15, 20 meters before they really, like, spread out far enough to, you know not hit a target with all three of them, but you should be able to hit most characters from a very, you know, close range distance, medium range distance to be able to, like, hit them fairly consistently with that, uh, little triple burst thing. The sticky bombs thing. The sticky bombs are so crazy. You just shoot them out and they just go brrrr, and then you just, you just let them fly. And that's it. That's all it is. And the bombs themselves on their own, uh, individually, are not super strong. They have, like, little damage on impact, and then they explode for 30. But she fires six of them. So, the reason that's a big deal is that if you land all six of those bombs, you pretty much have just single-handedly taken care of every single, you know, small character in the game. Because, like, that's, well, that's 180 plus... That's like 210 damage, you know, if you manage to hit every single one of those sticky shots. It's insane. It's ridiculous. And it's so powerful, too. Like, you just, you just, like, you disintegrate. You just disintegrate anybody with that sort of thing if you land all six bombs on them. You know, like, tanks kind of will melt with that sort of thing. So, it's a very powerful ability. I don't, it's not one of those things that's like, it's, you're going to see that happen a lot. But I also can imagine, because she's also got that movement, she has this horizontal dash that allows her to like fly upwards and like so you can like you get like this immediate burst of speed and then the ability to like go up and ascend and fly around and all this sort of thing and you you, you kind of have a hover uh, similar to like what Mercy has with her wings but basically the whole idea is that I think you want to use the speed burst go after a target hit them with a bunch of sticky bombs you know shoot them with your primary and such and then then you go and you finish them off. If they haven't died at that point, you finish them off with your little beam of death. Because, oh my goodness, that beam of death. Like, it, it's something that's like, when you fire it off and you hit a target, it doesn't really do a whole lot of damage. I think this stat is like 50 damage per second, so it's not really doing a whole lot of damage. But once they hit half health, then suddenly the damage gets like 
exponentially bigger. Like, you're now you're doing 200 damage a second. You are melting through anything in the game at that point. Tanks, DPS, shields, she you you br you break through barriers and ice holes so quickly with this beam. Like it's it's ridiculous. It just gets supercharged. Like it's more than like a Zarya beam at full charge. It's more than a Symmetra beam at full charge. And those things are really powerful at full charge. And this thing is like, oh, is it at half health? It's ridiculous. It's absolutely insane. So pretty much the main uh, gist of Echo's kit is basically just like, uh, my thoughts on it are just like, you're gonna be using this to like, get around, shoot things from a distance, and you know, when you're ready to go in for the kill, you dash in, you burst, bomb them, and then you just finish them off with the beam, and that's pretty much it. But, the craziest part about Echo's kit is actually her ultimate, which is now, what a surprise, right? What a surprise. The, the, the craziest part of their kit is the ultimate. Well, Echoes is particularly crazy because her ultimate allows you to duplicate one of the enemy heroes. Not one of your own heroes, because that, that on your team, because that would, I guess, be a little busted in some cases. And considering how crazy the ultimate actually is, like, you, you think of, like, duplicating, like, let's say you look over and you see a Reinhardt, and you're like, okay, I'm gonna duplicate that. And you think, okay, well, now I get all, you basically copy Reinhardt, you get his health, you get his shield, you get all of his, you know, toolkit. But then you're able to, like, build ult super crazy fast, because the ultimate only lasts, like, 12, I think it's, like, 12 seconds, 13 seconds, something like that. It's not a very long period of time. So you get to build your ult stupid fast. Like, I think there was, uh, one person was saying that, like, you could charge, and if you land it and pin the person, you get 90% of your ult. That's how fast you can charge these ults, which means, in the case of specific heroes, you can actually, like, get their ults, use them, then continue to do damage, get their ult again, and then use it again. So, in my, in my, for my testing on it, it seems like you can do that with only a few ults in the game, because there are a lot of ults that just have, like, durational, you know, effects. So it's like, if you have, like, it, like let's say you copy, like, Mei, and you get her Blizzard as an ult. You do get the impact of that Blizzard, but you don't start charging the ultimate again until the Blizzard has gone out of effect, and Blizzard itself lasts, like, five, six, seven seconds anyway. That's what, how a lot of the ultimates ultimately end up being. Ha ha ha. Now I know. Subtle pun. Super subtle crazy pun. Ultimates ultimately... So yeah, you get to basically just take advantage of the fact that you build up your ult super super fast and then you just get to immediately use it. That makes you really powerful, honestly. Like, that just makes you a very potent friend. If you copy a healer, you get extra healing. You copy a tank, you get the extra disruptive force in that tank. It's, it's nuts. It's pretty nuts. So, needless to say, I'm impressed with Echo, but I do think she's kind of in that spot where she needs a nerf. At this point in time, she's already gotten a small nerf where her movement is, you know, slightly reduced from how it started out on the BTR because that was pretty insane. Uh, so it's kind of, now she's only getting like this initial burst as opposed to having that, you know, speed boost throughout the course of her movement in that case, uh, with that particular ability. But other than that, I think there's like, maybe there's some fine adjustments to be made. You can maybe make the ult charge or we give a hard limit to like the ultimates, you know, you get out of, you know, your duplicate status. Uh, but yeah, I mean... The, oh, there is the other, there is the one other matter where it's like if you die during your ultimate, you know, when you've duplicated somebody, you don't actually just completely die, you just become Echo again. So that's like, you basically get like an extra life, which means you have so much power, you have so much sway over the field at that point. It's, it's crazy. It's, it really is just such a crazy ability. So, but yeah, Echo, she's nuts. I, I, I feel like she does need like a little bit of tweaking here and there like I would not have it at 200 damage per second When you're at half health like I get it you want to kill things But do you really need that much damage to kill things that quickly? No, 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 no Nerf it down make it 150 or something. I don't need I don't we don't need that to be 200 a second, okay? Ridiculous that's ridiculous or maybe if you wanted to have it do 200 damage per second against bears like, I don't know you do you, but like, just nerf that finishing beam a little bit. Maybe a little bit on the sticky bumps. Not, I don't think the sticky bumps is really that big a deal, honestly, because like in practice, it's like you gotta actually aim and people 
people are moving constantly, so it's not like you're gonna always land six bombs onto a single target. But it's still pretty powerful when you can do that. Just, I don't think that one's really necessary to nerf down. Maybe just reduce the ult charge, or give it a, or like I said, give it a hard limit on the duplicate, so that way you just only get the one ultimate, so it's not like, so then you have like that extra layer of judgment, it's like, okay, now I have to really decisively use this ultimate within the small time span I have. I'll build it up very quickly, but then I only get the one, and then I can't get another one while I'm still in duplicate form, so that, that should, you know, maybe that's an idea. Um, well, that's just me. Otherwise, I think Echo is a great character. I think she's going to be really hard to deal with in some capacity. She's going to shift the meta game. I know, we all talk about it. She's going to completely ruin the... Oh my god! So yeah, what do you guys think about Echo? Tell me about it. Let's talk about it down below. If you like the video, subscribe and all that jazz. And I'll see you in the next one. 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 And the next, and the next one, and the next one.